Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. James Watson, born April 6, 1928, Chicago, Illinois, U.S. American geneticist and biophysicist who played a crucial role in the discovery of the molecular structure of deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, the substance that is the basis of heredity. For this accomplishment he was awarded the 1962 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine with Francis Crick and Maurice Wilkins. Watson enrolled at the University of Chicago when only 15 and graduated in 1947. From his virus research at Indiana University, Ph.D., 1950, and from the experiments of Canadian-born American bacteriologist Oswald Avery, which proved that DNA affects hereditary traits, Watson became convinced that the gene could be understood only after something was known about nucleic acid molecules. He learned that scientists working in the Cavendish Laboratory at the University of Cambridge were using photographic patterns made by X-rays that had been shot through protein crystals to study the structure of protein molecules. After working at the University of Copenhagen, where he first determined to investigate DNA, he did research at the Cavendish Laboratory, 1951-53. There Watson learned X-ray diffraction techniques and worked with Crick on the problem of DNA structure. In 1952 he determined the structure of the protein coat surrounding the tobacco mosaic virus but made no dramatic progress with DNA. Suddenly, in the spring of 1953, Watson saw that the essential DNA components, for organic bases, must be linked in definite pairs. This discovery was the key factor that enabled Watson and Crick to formulate a molecular model for DNA, a double helix, which can be likened to a spiraling staircase or a twisting ladder. The DNA double helix consists of two intertwined sugar phosphate chains, with the flat base pairs forming the steps between them. Watson and Crick's model also shows how the DNA molecule could duplicate itself. Thus, it became known how genes, and eventually chromosomes, duplicate themselves. Watson and Crick published their epochal discovery in two papers in the British journal Nature in April, the May 1953. Their research answered one of the fundamental questions in genetics. Watson subsequently taught at Harvard University, 1955-76, where he served as professor of biology, 1961-76. He conducted research on the role of nucleic acids in the synthesis of proteins. In 1965 he published Molecular Biology of the Gene, one of the most extensively used modern biology texts. He later wrote The Double Helix, 1968, an informal personal account of the DNA discovery and the roles of the people involved in it, which aroused some controversy. In 1968 Watson assumed the leadership of the Laboratory of Quantitative Biology at Cold Spring Harbor, Long Island, New York, and made it a world center for research in molecular biology. He concentrated its efforts on cancer research. In 1981 his The DNA Story, written with John Tooze, was published. From 1988 to 1992, at the National Institutes of Health, Watson helped direct the Human Genome Project, a project to map and decipher all the genes in the human chromosomes. But he eventually resigned because of alleged conflicts of interest involving his investments in private biotechnology companies. In early 2007 Watson's own genome was sequenced and made publicly available on the internet. He was the second person in history to have a personal genome sequenced in its entirety. In October of the same year, he sparked controversy by making a public statement referring to the idea that the intelligence of Africans might not be the same as that of other peoples and that intellectual differences between geographically separated peoples might arise over time as a result of genetic divergence. Watson's remarks were immediately denounced as racist. Though he denied this charge, he resigned from his position at Cold Spring Harbor and formally announced his retirement less than two weeks later. 
In January 2019 the Cold Spring Harbor administration divested him of the honorary titles the laboratory had bestowed upon him. The decision came after the airing of the PBS documentary American Masters, Decoding Watson, in which Watson stated that his views on race and intelligence had not changed. 